Hi, this is Bill Driscoll, and I'd like to talk to you for just two minutes about the price and, more importantly, the value of home fire protection. Who came up with the idea anyway that says that we should get a good fire alarm for only $15, $20, or $25? You know, you can't get a tank of gas for $25, and you can't get a sack of groceries for $25. Do we really think that we can get fire protection that's going to work when we need it for $25? It makes me wonder if these same people think we should get a good heart surgeon for $1,000 or so. <laughs> Look, I'm all for saving money, but when you're considering a purchase that could save your life, price should not be the primary issue. Instead, we should be focusing on the value. Wouldn't you agree? If your alarms don't work, it doesn't really matter if they were free, does it? I mean, can you imagine the ridiculous scenario of... Imagine losing someone you love in a fire and then standing outside the burning home and saying, oh well, at least I didn't spend much on my fire alarms. Ridiculous, isn't it? As Americans, we spend $2,500 or more on a TV and home theater system. We spend $600 to $1,000 every year for cable TV. The same for cell phones for ourselves and for our kids. We spend $500 to $1,000 per year on homeowner's insurance that replaces all the stuff. The stuff, by the way, that we say we don't care about. That's over $20,000 if you think about it in the average lifetime for each one of those things. Doesn't it just make sense when we think about it that way to spend more than a measly $25 to protect what's most important and that's our family? Now the good news is that you don't need to spend that much if you want quality though. You should expect to spend $1 to $2 per square foot. Anything less, be skeptical. Be very skeptical because it just might not work when you need it the most. You'd like more detailed information? Go to DTECH.com. That's D-E-T-E-C-H.com. Thank you.